Okay, hi there guys. Um, what I'm going to be showing today is a, uh, a fast money making method on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Um, what I will say is don't expect any miracles. It's not like it's going to get you millions of coins like instantly or anything like that. Um, it's just a very good way to start yourself off on Ultimate Team. Which a lot of people that I know find very hard at the start. And they, uh, they actually spend a lot of money on packs just for like contracts and stuff because they struggle for money at the start of the game. Whereas I've never really bought packs since like the first Ultimate Team. But that is because I've got terrible pack luck as well. But anyway, we'll jump into it, guys. So, um, uh, basically, you'll be starting off uh, with your squad. I've actually got this one. At the start of the game, Say if you're jumping in and you've got like a bronze squad, uh, what I will say is uh, try and get the chemistry as high as you can, which is what I've always done, um, and then throw in a lot of lone players. I'd say I'd say make use of the lone players. That would be my number one tip. Uh, obviously, you can just chuck in all the lone players to be honest, and not bother about chemistry for the start of the games. And uh, just get some games under your belt, which as you see will actually make you more money than it normally would uh, when I've shown you this little trick. Um, so what you want to do is you want to push the right stick in in the top corner as you can see there. That'll open up the catalogue. Here you can loan all your players as well. But what this is here is a coin reward boost, which as you can see this is 200, which means after every game, on Ultimate Team that you play, you'll get an extra 200 coins added on to the end. So, you're probably thinking, 200 coins, that's nothing really, it's not even going to make a difference. But if you go down further, you can see there's plenty of 200 ones. Um, and there we go, there's a thousand coin boost for each game. Which, when you're starting up the game and you're trying to get started, uh, I think we all know a thousand coins can go a long way. Um, so yeah, so play a couple of games and you have a few thousand coins. As you can see, there's quite a few. I think I've got one at the minute, which was uh, 15 games, and there's still like quite a few more. So you can make a fair bit of money off this. Um, there's all the loan players here as well, like to make use of. And also another thing, just to save that bit of extra money, is for players that you know you're going to be keeping in your team. Um, you can buy these 99 match player contracts. Which actually means that have 99 matches on the contract for you, so you won't be buying a contract for them anytime soon. Uh, so if we jump out of this, um, I'll show you the second tip, which takes a bit longer to put into place, but not long at all. I've played, uh, how many games is that? I can't quite see. 12 games? Yeah, 12 games, I think. Um, and, uh, I've managed to get it in the way, as you can see, if you are looking at a record, I've not done very well at the start of this FIFA, but, yeah, so if we jump into active squad, as you can see, we've got a very average team, uh, Pato, I was actually stopping using the lone players, but I had an injury, so I did have to drop Pato in there, um, but as you can see, we need some contracts and stuff, which I will sort afterwards. Um, but yeah, basically at the start of the game I just had my starting squad and I uh, added loan players around it and worked it just so I could play a few games. One over many games I had on my record there and made some decent money and with that money I've managed to build this squad which isn't fully complete yet which I've got the four grand or whatever to just get a couple of mediocre players. And I've also got my uh, other squad which is actually a Stoke squad. Now I'm a Stoke fan, so I've always just built a Stoke squad on Ultimate Team. Don't know why, <laughs> it's not great really, but just force a habit, so I've actually made this as well. A couple of these players are a couple of grand each as well, so you can see that I've made some half decent money. And obviously the more games you play, the more money you're going to make, so. Uh, yeah, so you can see you've just got to build the squads, uh, that's what I was meant to say. Um, so what I actually do is, I've got my Stoke squad here, 
and inside, I know it's not complete, but so I have my Premier League squad here, you'd have all them on the bench, so when you're actually playing with your Stoke squad, this team is getting rested here, so their fitness goes up, as you can see it's not perfect, so I need to get them all up to 99 and then start afresh. Um, so then in between games you switch between the two squads, so play one game with your Stoke squad, one game with your Premier League squad, and your fitness will stay at 99 for every game, and for me that's a huge factor, I, I can't stand playing with less fitness, I feel like it makes a huge difference to me, other people might not, but that's just my preference, so I'd recommend making the two squads, even if they're just two mediocre squads, and then that's going to save you money on having to buy fitness cards, obviously you've still got my contracts, but you can get them fairly easy. And yeah, and just a final little tip, it's not even a tip, I mean, everyone really knows it, I recommend playing online season other than anything else, um, purely because even if you get relegated, you will get you get 1,300 coins. So you can aim to win the championship, get 3,000 coins. This is in the low division, I'm only in division nine. Um, if you win the division, obviously you get the most money, and the higher division, you're in the more money you'll get. So. Um, yeah, I think that's it guys, uh, if there's anything else I can uh, help you, just let me know, uh, thanks for watching, I'll uh, speak to you soon.